today's news. This is CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by Rocket Mortgage. I'm Monica Ricks in New York. <laughs> Russia's President Putin is now denying any intentions of using nuclear weapons in Ukraine. Former CBS News Moscow Bureau Chief Beth Noble reports. It's a step back from threats President Putin has been making over the past few weeks to retaliate against Ukraine using all means possible if it attacks Russian territory. Putin claims that Russia, excuse me, Ukraine is building a dirty bomb to blow up and blame Russia. The West doesn't buy it. Meantime, the White House is raising other concerns about Russia. A Russian foreign ministry spokeswoman accuses the U.S. of thoughtless escalation as it offers support to Ukraine, warning the support could lead to a direct confrontation with Russia and catastrophic consequences. That, as Moscow says it might target Western commercial satellites used for military purposes. Here at the White House, National Security Council spokesman John Kirby said he'd heard about the threat and would only add this. Any attack on, on U.S. infrastructure uh, will be met with, uh, with a response. Stephen Portnoy, CBS News, the White House. The U.S. economy grew at 2.6% from July through September, which was better than expected considering high inflation and interest rates. Jenna Similek is with the New York Times. This is one of those stiff reports where you have to really drill into the underlying numbers to get the story. And the story is that the U.S. economy is not contracting, we're not in a recession, but we are slowing down, which is what officials and the Federal Reserve and you know all of Washington is hoping for. Wyoming Republican Liz Cheney has endorsed and plans a campaign for Representative Elisa Slotkin of Michigan. Cheney's crossing party lines to support a Democrat after losing her own GOP primary back in August. Slotkin's competing against Republican Tom Barrett in Michigan. That race is considered a toss-up. It has been four years since 11 people were killed and six were injured at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh. Rabbi Jeffrey Myers reflects on the rampage. To make sense of the senseless, one cannot do, but to develop the right set of skills to be able to help my congregation heal, but at the same time, make sure I'm healing. It's complicated. It's considered the deadly attack on Jewish people in U.S. history. CBS's Jim Kersula has new numbers on a historic wildfire in the Rockies. It was the costliest wildfire in Colorado history. The state insurance commissioner says a wildfire that destroyed nearly 1,100 homes and businesses in suburban Denver last winter caused more than $2 billion in losses. The fire that broke out December 30th was blamed for at least one death. And there is still no word on what caused it. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.